Yes. The Wyman Barris Academy is located in downtown Toronto on University Avenue, which is otherwise known as Hospital Row. The University Health Network itself is made up of the Toronto General Hospital, the Toronto Western Hospital, Princess Margaret Hospital, and the Toronto Rehab Institute. And the Sinai Health System is made up of the Mount Sinai Hospital and Bridgepoint Healthcare. Michael Garan Hospital, located in the east end of Toronto, is our major urban community partner at the Whiteman Barris Academy. And students who do their clinical skills training there or who rotate there for clinical rotations are exposed to a very diverse patient population that comes from the surrounding community. And it's a wonderful example of a true community hospital. In addition to the major anchor hospitals that we spoke about, our students are able to rotate through uh, specialty hospitals that are in the area. For example, we have sick kids and sick kids, as we all know, focuses on pediatric care and our students will often go to sick kids to do pediatric rotations. In addition, students visit uh, the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, better known as CAMH, where they do psychiatry. And finally, they visit Baycrest Hospital, which is a geriatric hospital in the northwest part of the city. The great part about WB is that having UHN uh, under its roof gives students the access to different patient cohorts. Each hospital has a different sort of patient demographic, which I think is great for students because whenever they have placements at these different hospitals, they get a diverse experience every time. For our students, they have a wide variety of clinical settings in which to do their learning, and they get exposed to a very large breadth of uh, medical illnesses, so their training is quite robust. I feel like the instructors are very accessible um, all times throughout the day. Uh, I've never had an incidence where I reached out to an instructor and they were busy and they didn't respond. Um, the worst case is, you know, if they don't get back to you the same day, they'll always get back to you like the next day and, you know, arrange a time to meet up. Uh, also, I feel like the instructors, because they're so passionate about education. They really see the importance of connecting with students on a one-to-one -one level, as well as making sure that we're engaged and we feel connected to the opportunities that are available. Our faculty are leaders and experts in clinical medicine, as well as in research and education, and we have award-winning faculty that our students are exposed to. In addition, because we are a major academic hospital, we are really lucky in that we have lots of junior faculty as well as residents who are very interested and committed to teaching. And so these faculty are recruited to teach our students in the small group setting in year one and year two in their foundations years. And then in clerkship, our students often will have these same folks as their clinical supervisors when they rotate through their various clerkship rotations. We get new tutors every week for our small, small base group learning and also clinical skills. Whenever we get a new tutor, we're able to ask them questions about their job, about the field, to really learn about, um, really learn about what they do. So Whiteman Barris Academy students who might be interested in research will have an abundance of opportunities to pursue research, be it clinical research, basic science research, or even education research. Each of our hospital systems are associated with a research institute. Students uh, as early as year one will begin to be involved in research all the way up until year four. A lot of times students will focus their research uh, around the summer months, so during their break, but some projects, smaller projects, might continue even throughout the entire year and students are fortunate in that they develop strong relationships with their research supervisors who really are welcoming of the students into their labs and into their projects and it's a great opportunity for the students to learn uh, and to be produce something that they're proud of but also for our faculty to have the benefit of having amazing young people and young medical students involved in their projects. Uh, one of the groups I'm involved in is called AI in Medicine and we really just want to raise awareness um, in terms of the impact that artificial intelligence and technology will have in the healthcare field. So we've been working with faculty to sort of adapt the curriculum to incorporate more um, AI and tech learning into first and second year education. So we actually, uh, we're talking with the course director and we're in the talks of hopefully implementing a lecture uh, for second year students. When I need to study and I have an exam coming up, 
a lot of the times they'll come to like the Heliwell Center, which is at Toronto General, which all WB students have 24-hour access to, and there's a patient bed you can practice on. Just having access to spaces like that, having access to the lounge to be able to store your food in the fridge so it doesn't go bad after like a long day of studying. Having access to those facilities, having access to all the resources that uh, WB provides is honestly one of the best things. I'd say absolutely come to Whiteman Barris. There is going to be no better place where you will be exposed to so many different kinds of patients, so many different kinds of clinical environments, uh, where you will be welcomed by myself and the medical education offices at all of our anchor hospitals, but also really welcomed by our amazing faculty and, who value having students around and who really give their our all and are committed to our students. WB is, I think, the best location. is in the heart of downtown. If you really want to live somewhere that's fun and exciting and innovative, WB is the academy for you. No, we have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we usually people will have events. There's uh, social gatherings. Some some people in our class are very talented and play in musical instruments or sing. And sometimes they'll actually have concerts at like local bars where we'll get together and go out and support them. There's a lot of uh, small activities and. Um, our academies themselves also sometimes throw activities to get everyone in the same academy together to socialize. So we had like a Christmas party uh, and there was like the end of the year WB party. So, so we will get together outside of our uh, little corner in the library sometimes. Mm -hmm.